So if you're thinking about moving to Bend, Oregon, and you want to learn about yet another one of the 13 distinctive neighborhoods in Bend, Oregon. Well, look no further than today's video all about Larkspur. We're on the southeast part of town here. It's a fantastic neighborhood. We are right in front of the Bend Elk Stadium here. We're gonna show you around this neighborhood today. So if this video sounds like it's for you, stick around. We're gonna be getting after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel and you'd like to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, playing, the good and the bad of Bend, Oregon, Larkspur, the surrounding areas, subscribe to the channel and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about what the heck's going on around here. My name is Zach Nutter. This is Ryan Rudloff. We're both licensed brokers with EXP Realty in the state of Oregon. We get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking to make the move here to Bend and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a meeting on our Calendly link that's in the banner. We'd love to connect with you, help you make a smooth move here to Bend, Oregon. So we are standing in front of Vince Genna Stadium. This is a place that Ryan and I spent a lot of time growing up. We're in the Larkspur neighborhood right now. Super cool area, right in the middle of town. We're gonna to show you all around. We're gonna show you the neighborhoods. We're gonna show you all the commercial areas. So we're super excited about this video. Stick around to the end. You're gonna really love this video. So we're in front of Vince Genna Stadium right here in the Larkspur neighborhood. We're right off 3rd Street, which is the old Highway 97, the primary byway in between the south end and the north end of Bend. It's how truckers got through town back in the 90s and early 2000s before the parkway went in to uh, take the place of the main artery that goes through Bend. But the stadium behind us is historic in its own right. We would come to these games early in our childhood and this was actually a farm club uh, associated with the seattle mariners the colorado rockies and even the philadelphia phillies single a baseball we had professional baseball right here so i can remember uh, old time players that made it to the big zach that actually played in this stadium when they were first up and coming i think ken griffey jr may yep. have made an appearance at this stadium Tim Salmon, if you guys remember Tim Salmon, I think he played for the Angels. There could be a couple other noteworthy ball players that actually came through this stadium to play their early professional baseball. Since then, it's become more of like a, uh, a Western Baseball League farm club for college players in the summertime. If they're uh, Division I or Division II or what have you, they come in here during the summer months and there is a baseball league that kind of circulates the Northwest, but we have what we call now the uh, the Bend Elks. That's our program now, but the stadium itself is centrally located and it's historic for Bendites that have been here for a long time. But it's a cool place to come watch a baseball game with your kids in the summertime, or if you're just here to, to catch a ball game and grab a beer or something like that. It's a cool spot. So where we're standing right now is the parking lot. And I can remember when these were the Bend Rockies. So it was the Phillies, the Rockies, the Bandits, and the Elks. Only a couple of those were farm league teams. But we used to stand in this parking lot and catch foul balls. Yep. We were so excited that about it. Like we used to hang out here in middle school. That like this is an amazing spot, right in the middle of town. It's a great place to catch ball game. So uh, we're so excited to show you this neighborhood. Um, we're gonna jump in the truck and get around and show you guys around. All right, so we are just down the street from the baseball stadium that we, we started the video at. This is Clear Sky Estates. So this is one of the most, this is probably the most affordable area of this neighborhood that we're in right now. So homes in here are gonna range from low 400s to high fives. You'll find a lot of duplexes in here, uh, a lot of ranch style homes. But one of the awesome parts is that you've got this, these old growth trees right here. You're also a short distance to the old mill. We're literally like right across the street, down the hill from the old mill district. We're close to downtown here. There's a lot in this little area right here. You also can get quickly onto Reed Market and go uh, east-west quick, or you can get onto Third Street or the Parkway really quick. So this area is really central to town. Um, it's definitely the most affordable area in Larkspur, close to the baseball stadium. You're close to so much stuff. There's great 
Um, there's a couple uh, supermarkets just down the way. You got Grocery Outlet, you've got a Rite Aid. They're opening a new pizza joint over there. Um, you've got El Rodeo, the best Mexican restaurant in Bend, in my opinion. You've got Chan's. There's just a lot around this area and it's, it's pretty centralized in town. What's interesting about this neighborhood here is that you can see some of the homes here, like Zach talked about the old growth trees, it's a more established neighborhood, right? So it's been around, like these homes probably were breaking ground in the 70s and the 80s, maybe the 90s, things like that. Some of them are getting uh, updated right now. Some of them are original to when they were first built. But the, the point is, is like we're in Bend, right? We're in Central Bend right now. The median home price in town right now is $735. Uh, $735,000. <laughs> 700, what are we in the 20s? <laughs> I would love a $735,000 house. But uh, ultimately what we're getting at is right now you can afford to live in this town for under $500,000 if you look in the right spots. And that's really what it comes down to. We're crossing to. a pretty main road right here. So I'm gonna look both ways. Look both ways. <laughs> okay, we're clear. But we're centrally located, right? So there's a lot of people here that wanna move to Bend or they want to get into Bend somehow, some way, but they just don't think they can do it because Bend gets a lot of the notoriety for being this mountain town that has only million dollar homes. That's not the case. You can find spots that are in good locations that maybe need a little bit of uh, an upgrade or something like that. Or a TLC. Little TLC, but ultimately you can still live in a very central location. Like Zach said, we're just a few minutes away from the old mill district, maybe 10 minutes away from downtown. And so that is uh, what's unique about this particular area here is that our location is very central to all of Ben, and yet it's still wildly affordable. So I'm super excited about this because we're about to go show you, after we're done here, we're gonna show you a bunch of neighborhoods but I totally forgot in the introduction, we probably should have told people this. There's an airstrip in one of these neighborhoods we're gonna show you. So I'm super excited about that. So uh, we hope you enjoyed this area. Definitely one of the more affordable areas in this neighborhood. One of the more affordable areas in Bend in general. So we're gonna hop in the car. We're gonna head over, we're gonna show you Tanglewood. We're gonna show you the airstrip. We're gonna show you some of the commercial areas. So we hope you are enjoying this. We're gonna continue on. Okay, we ventured down Wilson Avenue. We are a little bit further east now. We are in front of the Ben Senior Center, also known as the Larkspur Community Center, a newly developed building that was added on. It's original, several years old, but it also has a new leg of it with a swimming pool and a fitness facility. Alongside us is the Tanglewood subdivision right now, a 30 year old subdivision that has homes that range in between $600,000 all the way up to 1.2 million. One of the premier subdivisions on the east side dating back to the mid nineties. Yeah, so there's also a huge park in here. Um, there's a, the Larkspur Trail that runs all around this area. Really cool area, but yeah, it used to be the senior center. Um, now it's just a community center because they added so much more to it. One of the best pool facilities around. Um, great exercise uh, center, fitness center. We talked about you've got trails all around in here, but we are right on like the corner of Reed Market and 15th here. So this is kind of right at the corner of Larkspur. Um, really neat area, uh, but there's so much to do here. The, I don't, you know what it costs to be a member? I think it's it's uh, the same as being a member at the Aquatic Center, isn't it? Isn't it? I think it's one right, the same. right in that ballpark. Yeah. I think it's owned Juniper by Park Ben Park and Rec. Yep. Um, but it's a great facility. It's a huge addition to Ben. Um, another indoor swimming facility. Uh, we also have uh, Juniper Aquatic Center that's got indoor, outdoor swimming. They've got a great area for kids. They also have an area for lap swim. They've got a high dive, they've got a rope swing, all kinds of stuff, but that's all right here in the Larkspur Community Center. And then you also have the Juniper Aquatic Center next door. We're touching on the east side of town here for some of these videos with the, uh, the neighborhoods being on the east side of town right now. We'll show you a map of what that looks like. But basically 15th Street is just right over here to our left here, a few hundred feet. And that will take you down south all the way to the new development of the southeast part of town, that neighborhood we did a video on just a week ago or so. That's where Caldera High School is. That's where a new middle school will be going in here over the next couple of years. That's where the Alpenglow Park is as well. 
the polished neighborhood developments are down there. A lot of development is happening on this part of town right now. We're more centrally located in Larkspur right now on the southeast part of town, but we also have Reed Market Road, which is the, the second or third busiest like east to west byway in town behind Greenwood Avenue. And that is gonna be basically a gateway to the east side beyond where we're standing and walking right now. Uh, a lot of commercial development over there. The Stevens Ranch subdivision is breaking ground right now. And that is the largest uh, development in Oregon history as it relates to like a single subdivision slash community. So that is gonna be very interesting to see how that plays out over the coming years, but there could be up to 5,000 homes or beyond that that are put in place just down the road to our left here over the next couple of years. So a lot of action on the southeast part of town right now. One thing we will tell you is, so we are right on Reed Market right now. It is a very, very busy road. Brian alluded to the fact it's one of our major east to west roads in town. So we've got Murphy now that connects most of the way through town, Reed Market, Greenwood and Empire. Those are kind of our main east to west roads. This is probably, other than Greenwood, this is probably the busiest. There's a train that comes through here that really can slow traffic down. But it is, so this is one of the busiest spots in town, but you are so central that you get that. When you're closer to all of the hubaloo, it's gonna be a little busier. <laughs> you like that word? I like hubaloo. fun words. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it is a very busy area. You're constantly going to have traffic around in this area, and that's just part of it. Again, and then traffic for us is 15 minutes to get clear across town. So it's not like you're in LA, San Francisco, somewhere where you're sitting hours in traffic. But you're not on the 90 freeway coming in from Riverside trying to get to Orange County for work. Right? Correct. That's just not how it is here. But, but we um, still complain. Yeah, but we sometimes. do. Because it used to take us eight minutes to get across town. But it's... Uh, it's a great area. We're excited to show you more of it. There's a lot going on in here. We just passed, there's a, a skate park that has pickleball courts. We've got Expressway Market right across the street. Mm -hmm. This gas station has the best food in town. An amazing hot case, made to order hamburgers. What's your favorite, what's your favorite item in the hot uh, case? I like, I like the bacon wrapped jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Um, but they have great food. It's a gas station, but it has great food. Right down the way over here, you've got Cascade Lakes Brewery, got a new Greek place. They're building another expressway. Hopefully they have an equally as good hot case. <laughs> um, there's so much being done. Ryan talked about Stevens Ranch, largest master plan development in Oregon's history. It's gonna shift the, the center of Bend. It's so big, schools, uh, residential dwellings, uh, the new libraries being built over there. So much going on in this little area right here. Um, that's why we're really excited to show you Luxburg. So we're going to hop in the car now. We'll go to some neighborhoods, uh, residential neighborhoods right now in this area of Larkspur to give you guys a feel for what the, the neighborhood makeup looks like to give you an understanding of how the houses look and what they're all about. All right, so we're in Tanglewood now, and we're walking around. I told Brian, I'm like, hey, why don't we do a cul-de-sac so that we end up near the car again? They thought that was a good idea. We're trying to be efficient with our walking, <laughs> right? But do a loop, we're back to the car. Tanglewood's a really cool neighborhood. So homes were built in the 90s-ish, some early 2000s. Um, this neighborhood is special for Ryan and I. We have so many memories. So many of our friends lived in here growing up, but all of the, uh, the lots, they're, about 0.2 of an acre and, and bigger. So some of them get up to half an acre. Um, homes were built in, built in the 90s, early 2000s. Um, so a lot of them have been remodeled. Some of them you go inside and you can still tell that they were built in the 90s. You got oak cabinets and um, carpet, a lot of carpet floors and stuff like that. But a lot of them have been remodeled, but the land itself is amazing. Most of them have great backyards. Um, really private. There's no HOA in here. And for being a neighborhood that doesn't have an HOA, it's actually held up really well. A lot of times when you find a neighborhood that doesn't have an HOA, you'll find a lot of crazy colored houses or, you know, stuff everywhere. But 
Um, people have actually really taken care of things. And when people move in here, a lot of times they'll repaint, clean up, but it's a really great neighborhood. A lot of great memories here. Homes range in between say 1200 square feet. And I think there's a couple models that go all the way up to like maybe 3,500 square feet. And we're right off of Reed Market again, just like we talked about earlier when we were at the uh, Larkspur Center. But uh, Reed Market is that main southeast side, east to west byway. So if you wanna get to say the downtown area, the old mill area, you wanna get to the parkway, which leads you to maybe the airport, it's just about a five minute drive, depending on traffic, it could be up to seven minutes, depending on what, what time of day you're driving. Uh, but ultimately you're very centrally located, right? So you're gonna be close to the downtown area, the gateway to the Cascade Lakes, the Mount Bachelor area. Again, Bend is a relatively small town. We keep talking about, oh, you're only 20 minutes away or 25 minutes away from Mount Bachelor. And that bodes true for just about anywhere you are in Bend. And that is the case here in the Tanglewood subdivision. But again, like we've talked about in previous videos, the southeast part of town is getting a lot of notoriety, a lot of attention right now with expansion, commercial expansion going on right now. We've got the new high school, we've got the parks, we've got new subdivisions, and a lot of new areas that have been zoned into the urban growth boundary for commercial. And so it's gonna be very interesting, very interesting to watch what type of development we see over the coming years in this particular part of town. Because historically speaking, it's like if you're in the Tanglewood area or somewhere else in the southeast part of town, you have to drive probably five to 10 minutes at least to get to like a grocery store like Safeway or Costco on the far east side or the far east side going to the north or Fred Meyer Albertsons going to the west. And so with what we have now coming in over the coming years, it'll be fun to watch what we get here that goes in place nearby this neighborhood that's already established. So uh, we did a whole tour on Tanglewood. So if you wanna see that, check out our video. There's a whole Tanglewood um, tour, but we wanted to give you a quick little snapshot of this great neighborhood. We're gonna go show you a few more. We're gonna show you Garden Side, which is really cool. It's actually a full uh, East Side Gardens nursery. That's kind of the whole neighborhood's built right around that area. Um, but we are on the pretty far East part of town right now. So get in the car and show you around a little more. just off of Bear Creek Road now. And we are zipping down here to literally an airstrip that's right in the middle of town. This is so interesting. So little single engine Cessnas will fly in and out of this area here. And there could be some homes that actually go right into the airstrip itself where plane owners, there's probably only just a couple of them, they fly their plane in and out and they have this private little airstrip right here and it's just uh, kind of a unique little feature here of the Larkspur neighborhood. Yeah, so some of these houses literally have little hangers. So when we were growing up, one of my friends had a house in here and in Tanglewood on Airstrip, or Air Park it's called, and they could see the planes coming out of their backyard. They, they said they could see the whites of their eyes as they were taking off and landing, which is pretty crazy. Pretty but interesting. We'll we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna you around here. and show you the airstrip. Place. This is literally right in the middle Homes of town. everywhere. Yeah. And there is a landing strip right yeah. here, quarter mile long or half mile long, whatever it is. I'm not a... Uh, <laughs> you're not a pilot? I'm not, a, I'm not an air, <laughs> airplane person. <laughs> not an aviator. <laughs> but if you're into flying and you want to live right in the middle of town, this would be an amazing spot. It really would. So we thought we'd show this to you guys as we continue the tour of the Larkspur neighborhood. So we're in Gardenside right now. We actually just ran into one of our good friends who his family has actually owned the garden over there, East Side Gardens. Um, but this neighborhood's full of parks. Um, it's got really nice sidewalks throughout. Um, it's, it's really clean, like the trees are starting to grow. Um, Mid 2000s is when this neighborhood really started development. 
but it's got a really neat feel to it. Quiet streets, um, the leaves are all falling around us. We're, it's almost the end of fall now. We're getting into almost winter, but it's a really quiet neighborhood. It's got great parks. The houses, um, the houses are pretty close together in here, but for the price of the homes, this is a really neat neighborhood. We're two minutes away from Costco in a drive. We're right on the edge of town too. So to our left, there's gonna be several houses, but at the edge of the subdivision is gonna be basically the city line. So just to the east of us is gonna be all the east side, Deschutes County, just goes out to basically nowhere. And, but we're on, right on the edge of town right here. Pretty unique area. Again, east side of town, a lot of development over here. Not a lot of coverage when it comes to YouTubers in Bend doing real estate videos related to what's in and around Bend. So this is something that we love to do. Show you pockets of Bend that don't otherwise get a lot of the coverage of what's going on in and around Bend here. So like we said, Costco's nearby here. It's gonna be moving here in a couple of years. The hospital is probably a five minute drive away from here. We've got Caldera High School to the other direction, probably another five minute drive or so. Uh, the landfill's just down the street. The landfill's so nearby. Not far away. East side of town, uh, quiet area, but the houses, certain subdivisions, are newer and they are quiet like Zach said and they are fantastic so this neighborhood is certainly one that does not get a lot of coverage but we are super excited to show it to you because east side and the uh the east side subdivision over here garden side is just a fantastic area there's a lot of craftsman style almost all the houses in this neighborhood are a craftsman style you've got single story two-story homes um, we talked about when we we're in Old Bend, we talked about how a lot of those houses over there have basements and stuff. Most of the houses in Bend just have crawl spaces. So in here, you're not gonna get any basements, anything like that. But what I do like about this is this neighborhood's probably getting close to 20 years old now. Like we talked about, trees are growing up, really pretty here in the summertime. You've got a lot of, uh, of good access, you've got parks. Um, you're close to 27th, and then Stevens Ranch is gonna be built right behind here that's the development we keep talking about largest master plan development in oregon's history that is getting built right behind this subdivision there's a little school here inside of larkspur you have bend high you've got um bear creek elementary bear creek elementary what are all the others what's the middle school in here high it's desert's not desert. in larkspur is high it it's going to be zoned for this this subdivision this area here okay but that is in the southeast part of town yeah um what else do we have there's so many things stevens ranch like zach said is going to be developed over the coming years and there will be a elementary school that we think is going to be going into that area as well you've got pilot butte state park that's not in larkspur but it's right on the outskirts of it so really close to that you've got uh the whole forum shopping center there's also another just kind of little outcropping of um, commercial. You've got a Dutch Brothers, you've got a Chinese restaurant, you've got a burger place, you've got a little satellite um, library. I don't know if that's going to stick around when they build the new big mm -hmm. library right. in Stevens Ranch. What else is over there? You've got uh, cat, or you've got Timbers, Timbers South over there, or Timbers Worthy East. Brewing Company. Yep. It's basically on the border of the Mountain View neighborhood where a lot of the hospital, a lot of the medical stuff is, which is just basically a two to three minute drive from where we're at right now. What's interesting about Larkspur too, is that it is kind of like an old farm district. We have a neighborhood in Bend called the Old Farm Neighborhood, but it's right on the border of Larkspur. And we drove through Pettigrew Road recently and there's still a lot of property there that is just large acreage. It has irrigation and they're, they're still farming going on in this particular neighborhood of Bent Larkspur. So you got subdivisions and then farmland, subdivisions, farmland, et cetera. So it's it's interesting in that regard to know that, yes, we're in the city limits of Bend, a lot of traffic, there's a lot going on here, but there's still pockets of this neighborhood where there's acreage and there's, there's separation between homes, things like that, in addition to great subdivisions like Gardenside right here. We also have, you've got a Wilco over here that's like a farm and ranch type store. You have a Walgreens, you've got uh, Slotsky's Deli, you got some Cinnabon if you got a hankering for a cinnamon roll. Well, what about your favorite place? Oh nothing, nothing <laughs> bunt cakes. <laughs> nothing bunt, is that a fat joke, Ryan? Really close by. 
Nothing but cake. Uh, you gotta so try that place. There's, by the way. there's so much great stuff in this area. Um, so we really love the Larkspur neighborhood. I live just on the outskirts of the Larkspur area, right in the middle of town. But you do have, like Ryan said, there's there's acreage, there's neighborhoods, there's commercial. There's so much around here. Um, it's just a, a great area of town. Great area of town. We're gonna continue moving on with the tour here. We'll show you maybe another neighborhood and then we'll wrap up the video at another location. So we'll keep on moving on with the tour. So we're in Daly Estates now, and this is a unique little area. So you might be wondering why I'm taller than Ryan right now. Uh, I'm on the sidewalk. We're about to go down, so we're going to be even again here. It's called <laughs> curb appeal. <laughs> but we're in Daly Estates. So Daly Estates, has, there's lots of different areas around here. But um, these townhomes in particular are unique. So super affordable. They range from high threes, low fours, 1,000 square feet to... 1200 1300 square feet i believe um the unique part is is that they're actually land leases so you don't own the land to my knowledge there's but it's very affordable land lease it's like 50 dollars a month which usually when you have a land lease they're five six seven hundred dollars a month so um, these are very unique very contemporary looking um, but if affordability is what you're looking for this is a really good option um, we're right in between 27th we're kind of on the corner of 27th and reed market here quiet little area they're building a bunch of these right now so a uh, unique opportunity to get at a decent price point here in bend now we're going to zip over to a more industrial area some businesses going on in the larkspur neighborhood to wrap up the video All right, guys, so we are wrapping up our tour of this neighborhood. We hope you've enjoyed it. We are in the kind of the commercial area now. So we've got Bend High just down the road, and then you've got a pretty good size industrial park here. You've got all kinds of business. You have metal coating, you've got uh, car repair shops, you've got um, warehouses for creameries, you have Bonta, which has their major uh, storing facility here. You've got all kind. you got roofing companies, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, you've got the high school just down the way, big storage facility, you got par lumber. If you're a contractor, that's one of the main areas people get their building supplies here in town. But this is definitely like the big commercial industrial area on this side of town. The other biggest one I would say is probably over off of Empire. Um, used to have one kind of down by the old mill, but that's all getting kind of um, repurposed into retail commercial restaurants and the jack straw the big apartment complex they're building down there but this is kind of the commercial area of this neighborhood thank you guys for watching as always if it's your time to reach out to us please do so call us text us email us set up a, a zoom call use that calendly link that's in the banner of our uh, home page as well as in the comment section of every single video and if you haven't liked this video, if you're still here, please like the video, maybe subscribe. Most of our viewers have not subscribed to our channel yet, probably 90% of them. So do us a favor, if we can ask a favor, subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll plan on seeing you guys on the next video. Thank you guys Thanks for we watching. Have, we have three more neighborhoods to explore, and then we're gonna start going through every subdivision in Bend. So, Three more neighborhoods, and then we're gonna get on to all the subdivisions. Thank you guys so much. We look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks guys.